Hey, I'm meteorologist Doug Myers with the latest look at your forecast. Yesterday we had highs in the 70s and 80s, and uh, as far as today is concerned, if I showed you that graphic uh, tomorrow, it would have high temperatures in the 60s and 70s, but we're not going to be anywhere close to that for today. I'll talk about that here in a little bit. In the meantime, our monthly rainfall outlook or is still showing we're behind with rainfall for most areas with the exception of Emporia. Other than maybe a few sprinkles this morning, I'm not expecting a whole lot of impacts from any rainfall for today. But uh, over the weekend, that's when we will have precipitation returning to the area. Unfortunately, it's almost going to be in the same areas that have received rain already, which means very minimal precipitation opportunities for places like Seneca, Marysville, Concordia, and whatever precipitation that there will be in that area. There's probably going to be a higher chance it's going to be more of a winter precipitation than rainfall. And so that will certainly lead to a lower probability of uh, overall precipitation output from it. So. I, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Uh, we can't do anything about it. But as far as today is concerned, we have a very strong cold frame coming through early this morning. As uh, temperatures uh, were still holding 9 to uh, 70, even as early as late as uh, 3 o'clock in the morning in Topeka. But uh, that cold front pushing through fairly quickly by 8 o'clock in the 30s and 40s for most areas. And as the colder air continues to filter in, temperatures will be stuck in the 40s for the majority of the day. Yes, we will get some afternoon sun, so have those sunglasses handy. And we may be lucky enough to to reach the low 50s in a few spots, but generally speaking, uh, upper 40s uh, to low 50s uh, for much of the area for today. Cooling back down in the upper 30s and low 40s as we head into the 8 o'clock hour. Then we're looking at temperatures that could be in the upper 20s and low 30s for those in the freeze warning for tonight. For those along and south of the turnpike, for those that are not in the freeze warning, I expect temperatures to be more in the mid to upper 30s. So not quite to the extent of uh, the freezing mark and it will probably be very similar on friday night or saturday night i should say although with the clouds that could act as a blanket to keep temperatures for most areas uh, from cooling back down into uh, the freezing mark or colder uh, we will have clear skies for much of the night tonight that's one of the reasons why we are able to possibly get as cold as the upper 20s and low 30s in these areas Monday morning, though, everyone uh, should be down in the 20s. So, obviously, if you don't get down in the 20s uh, for this weekend, it will be in the 20s Monday morning. So, for the weekend, taking a look at the clouds clearing out on this model as well for today, and then clouds increase in late tonight. This model wants to indicate rain really not starting to develop until closer to mid-afternoon. I am leaning more toward that scenario. Uh, I'm going to explain why I'm saying that here in a little bit. But uh, bottom line is it will mostly start out as rain uh, at uh, during the day on Saturday and then eventually change over to a wintry mix Saturday night into Sunday with precipitation that may still be in the area during that time. This model, again, clearing out. I thought I started this on Saturday, sorry. Uh, but uh, taking a look at this model starting a little bit in the late morning hours, closer to noon, so just a few hours earlier than what that other computer model is indicating. So that'll be something to watch out for. In the meantime, you'll notice that the bulk of the rain, again, as I mentioned, stays in the southeastern portions of our viewing area. Then we will have another round of uh, precipitation because it's going to come with colder temperatures, a uh, wintry mix as we head towards Saturday night into Sunday morning. This also is indicating some precipitation lingering more in the afternoon hours compared to our medium and long range models, which uh, has the majority of the afternoon dry. So that will also be something to watch out for. Now, with our winter precipitation, our impacts for tomorrow into tomorrow night, very limited across a few areas here and there across northeast kansas but once we get into sunday uh, that's where it could be more uh, and the widespread limited uh, maybe some minor impacts uh, in our far southern communities but we'll have to watch that right now i'm not expecting much in the way of accumulation but that also means anything like a dusting of snow or a glaze of ice, that can almost be more dangerous than if we actually had accumulation of anything. And so we have to be very, very careful over the weekend out on roadways, Saturday night into the day on Sunday. Cloud cover, even if precipitation uh, ends at midday, as I do expect at this point in time, but we'll watch it because that model didn't indicate precipitation lingering into the afternoon as well, clouds will remain. 
Depending on how quickly the clouds clear out Sunday night will depend on how cold it will get. And uh, we'll be keeping an eye on uh, next week's temperatures. Right now we have 20s for lows and 40s for highs to begin the week, including Halloween. There is a possibility that uh, we could have temperatures in the teens. Certainly wind chills, but possibly temperatures too. So we will be keeping a close eye on that. The uh, overall trend is for dry and mostly sunny skies for pretty much every day next week. And a gradual warming trend, especially get, getting towards the second half of the work week. Uh, because I do think we will usher in a brief colder air pushing into the area on Halloween itself. And so that's the reason why, even though I have a degree warmer Tuesday morning compared to Monday morning, it's going to be a few degrees cooler. That's one of the reasons why. But it should not come with any precipitation. It shouldn't even come with any cloud cover. But it will come with a little bit cooler uh, day. And then it does warm back up for Wednesday. Quick look at our extended outlook, because I like to show this now every single day, just to give you an idea of what we're looking at in the long range. Uh, br uh, uh, looking at the 6 to 10 day outlook, cool and dry. Looking at the 8 to 14 day outlook, warm and well, equal chances of drier than normal and wetter than normal. And the 3 to 4 week outlook, similar. So you get the idea that, uh, yeah, we are going to be on the cold side uh, for the short term. But once we get into the end, uh, by this time next week, we will be more seasonal. And uh, there's a possibility it might warm up a little bit over next weekend. At the very least, it will be in the 50s and 60s. But there's also some uncertainty on whether or not we have precipitation or not next weekend, too. So okay, something that we're going to be keeping an eye on from the weekend, this weekend, all the way to next weekend. That uh, just continues to show you, you have to check the forecast every day for changes. So, that's a good reminder with our snow kind of returning to the forecast. When we're talking about snow forecasting, you can't just look at the forecasts even a day before the potential for any snow. You have to look the day of and you have to keep updated. We will always let you know if there's changes. We don't hide things from you. If there are changes... It, the web will be updated. Uh, we'll update you on the app. Any warnings that uh, get issued from the National Weather Service, that is also issued automatically on your app as well. So it's, it's all there. We're not hiding things from you. You have to do your part to uh, check in daily for updates. Have a great day and have a great weekend and stay warm.